what's good tribe how we doing today we are um this is gonna be your review for love and hip-hop hollywood we got a new season starting so this is episode one of the current season we see that miss k michelle who is now going by kimberly <clears throat> excuse me is joining the cast and she seems to have been elevated to sort of the star she's doing the the opening you know little montage monologue talking about hollywood and all the pitfalls and and ups and downs of being in Hollywood and all that good stuff. And she's riding around in her Rolls Royce, you know, and all that great stuff. Now, here's my problem with the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood piece. So many of the storylines have already played out on social media or in the press. Like, we know on the blogs. I shouldn't say the press. I, the blogs, because the press don't give a fuck. Um, but so many of these storylines have already played out that... The show is sort of anticlimactic, in my opinion. But we're going to go through it. We're going to go through it. So we start off, we see um, K. Michelle, <clears throat> Monice, and Bridget. Y'all remember Bridget's, um, um from last season? She's back. They're talking, and, you know, K. Michelle is talking about how she's having these surgeries to get these foreign objects out of her body. And she explains that, you know, she equated success with big booty and she had to have a certain body image to be successful. And that's why she did these things. And she said, yes, you know, I did it in a hotel room. And just because it was a suite at, a con at the Continental didn't change the fact that it was, you know, a hotel, you getting butt injections. And she was very candid about, about that, I feel. You know, I feel like she was very honest and candid about that. Then she starts talking about how she had a show in New York and she allowed Lyrica to be her opening act. And she did admit that she, it was a last minute thing, but then she went on to talk about how Lyrica was an hour late and how she was being very whiny. And she, I, I didn't get diva-ish, I got uh, spoiled bratish. Um, and she said that, you know, she feels like that Lyrica is really missing a, a great opportunity because she's sort of burning bridges. And she said she's going to talk to her later on about it. Now, here's my... Again, I know it's for the show, y'all. But here's my piece. If you had a problem, you should have addressed it when it happened. Like, you talking about this happened last week in New York and y'all back in L.A. and you're going to talk to her now. Or maybe... Maybe you needed some wait time. Because I know sometimes I do. So, I'm going to give you that. Sometimes something happens and you need a minute. You need a minute to just process the whole thing. I've had that happen to me, so... That may very well be the situation. Um, Monice is on some messy shit once again. She's talking about, you know, she put the stuff out on social media about how Brandy was really carrying the baby for Ray J and Princess. And she pretty much admits that she knows it's a lie, but she says she hates the Norwoods. And she just doesn't give a damn. Um, and she'll say whatever she wants to say about the Norwoods. And it's, it is what it is. She don't care whether it's true or not. I think that's kind of a fucked up way of looking at things. You cannot like somebody, and I'm pretty sure there are a whole lot of negative things to say about the Norwoods that are true. So, no need making stuff up. But neither here nor there. That's her her thing. But it's clear that Princess is pregnant. Very clear. Uh, Nikki Baby. So, then we have another situation where we got Nikki Baby, Princess, and Lyrica comes in. And then we have another new character, Paris, who used to be K. Michelle's... Um, assistant and K. Michelle accused her of stealing from her. Now, I never looked at K. Michelle's um, reality show, so I don't know if she was a character, a regular character on the show or not. Y'all, I'm sure will let me know in the comments. Um, but she seems to be a little messy. And she's got beef with K. Michelle, because she said K. Michelle lied about her and said that she stole and that she ain't never steal nothing from K. Michelle. She used a credit card for a car service that she had permission to use, and that was that. But, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Um... But I'm sure that's going to play out, you know. So, Nikki, she's calling it her boss brunch. I don't know. Boss, boss bitches brunch, some shit. I don't know. But we see where Princess is, is, is um, pregnant. Lyrica's there. She's talking about how her, um, she's just coming off her little radio tour for her EP. And how it did really well. And she's really excited that it actually charted. You know, she's an independent artist. So, charting for an independent artist is, like, definitely a success because you don't have the backing of a major um record label and 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 um connections with radio stations and stuff like that so for her to chart i mean she didn't say where she charted so i don't know what number but she said she did chart and that was very you know so she's excited to go and keep moving forward to the next to the next thing i told y'all about paris already um she said she said she's no longer doing that type of work that paris is she said she's a brand builder 
now and now she's been working with people to build up their brand and build up their you know their their brand mm -hmm. Ray J and Princess are not speaking. They're having a little situation. Um, somebody posted, you know, y'all, again, this is stuff that's already played out. You remember when somebody posted Ray J's hotel room on his um, 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 social media, and then, of course, Princess responded. She said that they weren't speaking, and he was in um, L.A., and she hadn't talked to him in seven days, and she just going to move out the house. And it's just, that they, you know, that situation is just not good. It's not good. Then we see the guys. So this season, the main guys are going to be Lucci, A1, and Ray J. So they're all at Lucci house. He's having a party. He said he got a big advance from his record company. And so he's spending it all. And I was like, I hope you don't spend all the damn money. That's how people get caught up. That's how they end up on their record company. That's how they end up having to go bankrupt. An advance is not a paycheck. It is just that. It is an advance. With the promise that you're going to pay that money back when you get when you, your album comes out. So... If they advanced you $2 million, you already $2 million in the hole. You don't make no money off of your next album until you've paid them off and um, whatever else they decide to add into play. So, to me, that was just a real stupid-ass scene that's once again perpetuating our artists out here and how they get caught up and how they get taken advantage of and then how they end up broke. But, again, it's a TV show, so I'm going to not get caught up in the minutia of it. <sighs> then, of course, Ray J is telling them... You know, all about his situation with Princess and all that stuff. And he's like, yeah, they, they buying jewelry, you know. So, like, he's like, yeah, I guess I better, you know, get, get some jewelry for the, for the, for Princess to, so I can get back in the house, you know, you know, playing it up. A1 still doing great things and producing. He said he's, his own single even did well. And he's just loving, living life and enjoying things. And, of course, his script was at the party. So, we see the script come up to A1. And she does, you know, she dances a little bit and stuff. And then... You know, she lets him know that she's an artist and she wants to, you know, she shoots her shot. I ain't mad at you. Because here's the thing. Again, I don't look down to nobody who's making a legal, a legal penny, right? So you stripping, but that's not where you want to be. You want to move into other things. So I ain't mad at you for taking advantage and pulling A1 aside saying, look, you know, I'm an artist. I mean, she did her job first. She danced first. And then she was like, look, I'm an artist. And he was like, well, give me something. So she rapped a little bit and... He even said, you know, I appreciate, you know, her, her, her being bold enough to come at me. Well, then she starts dancing. And here come, here come. No, I'm, I'm moving ahead of myself. My bad. I'm moving ahead of myself. <laughs> but we're going to get back to that. We're going to get back to the scripper and A1 because Lyrica and A1. Yeah, we're going to get back to that. So... K. Michelle is talking. She she's she's getting ready for a performance, and she's talking. She that's when she invites Lyrica to come, and she's talking to Lyrica, and she starts going off on Lyrica about her being late and about her being a brat. And Lyrica was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 that's not true. I wasn't late." She was like, "K. Michelle was like, you were an hour late." She said, "That sounds like a management issue because I was there the time I was told to be there." So here's the problem. In that instance. I do. I believe Lyrica. I believe that Lyrica was there at the time she was told to be there because she looked shocked. And she just felt like everything went so well and everything was so positive. So she really doesn't see what Kay Michelle is talking about. And Kay Michelle was like, well, no, you were late. And when she said it's a management thing, that made me feel like maybe there was some miscommunication between Kay Michelle's team and Lyrica's team, especially since it was a last minute thing. I don't know. That's how I feel. Um... Then she starts, so of course y'all know they get to arguing, and she starts talking about how Lyrica's wedding, her marriage is a fake marriage, and of course, you know, Lyrica talk about her having a fake body, and you know, they, it gets nasty, so Lyrica leaves, and then she was like, oh, hell no, I ain't gonna let her get the last, um, the last word, so she comes back through, and she gonna, she, <sighs> Lyrica was trying to get physical, and K. Michelle called the security, y'all, it was a mess. It was a mess. So you know that's going to be a conflict. It was a mess. Um, and I understand if Lyrica was coming from a... I mean, if, if K. Michelle was really coming from a genuine place to say, Look, Lyrica, you need to get your shit together because, you know, you don't want to create a certain reputation out here. But she just kind of... I don't know. The way she came at Lyrica... Because Lyrica, Lyrica really thought everything was all good. Like, I thought we was good. You know, I thought I did a great job. I thought you was calling me here to invite me to do some more shows and now you're coming at me like I did such a horrible job and you know everything was horrible so I can see what she kind of feeling some kind of way um she oh oh, oh 
K. Michelle also said that Lyrica was trying to sleep with um, Safari. Now, that's going to be a big deal. That she was in his DMs and texting and K. Michelle claimed she got the receipts. Uh, she claimed she has the receipts. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, Then we go back to the party. Right now, we're back at Lucci's party with Tier. Tier Marie is there with Nikki Baby and... um. Ray J and Tierra have a decent conversation. Of course, you know that whole thing with their history and their past is over. You know, Tierra Marie was like, look, I know I'm going to run into him, but all that's over is in the past. I wish him nothing but the best. Everything is good. So that's when Nikki is like, so what's good with you and Princess? Like, y'all not speaking. She about to move out the house. Like, what's up? Like, you know, and of course, Ray J is like, look, she need to listen to me. She jumping off, you know, going off of what she reading on the blog. She gonna have to trust me. Like I don't know what the, I don't know what's going on with her. You know, was that lightning? It's raining. Anyway, now we got the A one and the stripper piece. Okay, so I left off in the story where Lyrica walks in with the stripper dancing up on um A one. And here's the thing, and the da the dancer's name is um Apple. I was gonna say Apple TV. It's not Apple TV though. Apple Watch. Apple Watch. She's a new character on the show because I thought she was just gonna be a dancer, but it looks like she's gonna actually be on the show this season. And I'm sure it's gonna be a conflict with her, A1 and Lyrica, because they set that up. She said off the break when Lyrica walked in and was like, "What's this? Like, you know, what's up? You got you, you dancing all up on my husband?" She was like, "Look, I'm just here to do a job. I, I don't want no beef. I apologize. I don't want no no disrespect." So she started off apologizing and she started off being real nice about the situation. Then Lyrica want to keep, because Lyrica mad about the whole K. Michelle thing. So she's still doing this. She's doing all this. She running her mouth. She blep, 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 blep. And A1 is like, what is wrong with you? Like, come on, you know what this is about. Like, I wasn't doing nothing with her. She was just dancing. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It's like, why are you tripping? So they pull aside and she tells him about the whole situation with K. Michelle. And of course, now A1 is like, what like I, I produced a track on k michelle's last album why is she tripping like this i don't understand why she going off like this like what's her deal you know like what's the dealio what's the problem you know that whole thing and so they you know they make up and he's like i'm gonna go talk to k michelle like i need to go um i need to go talk to her and, and figure out what the problem is we see ray j leave he leave the party he go home his mom is sitting on his couch in the dark like the mafia or something waiting for him to walk in the door. First of all, when people have a key to your house, generally speaking, it's for emergency purposes. Don't just be up in my house waiting for me to get home. And I'm married. Like, you don't know what you're walking in on. You don't know what's going on up in this piece. And Bridget was even like, Mama, I didn't even know you still had a key. Like, what are you doing here? So, of course, she's like, look, you need to get your wife under control. She don't need to be all up on social media telling our business. Like, she keep doing this and we keep having this conversation. She need to stop going to social media whenever y'all have an argument. That's not good. That's not a good look. And you need to get her under control. And, of course, Ray J is like, ah, you're right. I know you're right. She's like, and she need to publicly apologize for what she's saying. And I'm like, shit, Ray J need to publicly apologize for being a shitty-ass husband. But anyway. So then that's when we get a little bit of insight on um, Apple Watts. She lives, she's from Watts, from South Central. You know, she's a single mom. She's got a friend, Lily, and, you know, she just kind of recaps the whole situation of Lily about her meeting up with A1 and, and rapping for him and all that. So that's why I said they're setting this up that her and A1 are going to work together, and I'm sure Lyrica's going to have a problem with it, blah, blah, blah. So that's that storyline. All right, so we see where... So earlier in the episode when Princess and Paris and Nikki were at the little power brunch thing, um, Princess was like, and if any of y'all see Monique, y'all let me know. Y'all drop me a dime so I can go and have a conversation with her. And they were like, girl, you pregnant. She was like, that's all good. But as soon as I drop this baby, it's going to be on the popping because I'm really sick of her. So AD, Monique's um, girlfriend, is having a fashion show for her um, fashion line. Mr. Ray did the event. So, Mr. Ray is back this season. Zell is gone, thank God. But Mr. Ray is back. We'll see how I feel about that later on. Um, but, um, so they're having their fashion show. So, when Paris walks up in there, she sees Moniz. So, she's going to go outside and call Princess and tell Princess, come on down here because Moniz here, girl. 
So Princess shows up all of six, six, seven months pregnant. And gets on the microphone now. I don't know about you, but I don't know how anybody gonna walk up into somebody else's event and take over and get on the microphone and don't nobody stop them. Like, Princess gave a whole fucking soliloquy. Ain't nobody say nothing. Nobody tried to take the mic. And I know she pregnant. I get that, but you you can, you can just unplug the mic. You can unplug it. You can, Like, there's a lot of things you could have done to stop her from giving this speech. But she basically, you know, was talking about how Moniece is a lying bitch and, you know... What kind of person would go online and lie on a pregnant woman? Like, you know, that whole little thing. And Monice is sitting there looking pissed off. But y'all know what set Monice off the minute. Monice sat there and took all of it until Princess said something about her being a bad mother. What she do that for? What she do that for? Y'all know how Monice is. So you know Monice snapped. And went after Princess. And of course, now it's going to be like, how could you go after a pregnant woman? Like, physically go after a pregnant woman. Monice even went to pick up a chair and tried to throw a chair at the woman. Like, it's a mess. It was a mess. And Monice was really, really upset. And they had to take her out, calm her down. Of course, security had to get... Like, because Monice got away from security. And she had actually snuck out of a side door to get to Princess. And AD was like, yo, get her. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, how y'all let her get away? Because Monice was really trying to get at Princess. Like, I don't think that was no Carly Red. I'm going to wait till security stop me type shit. Like, she really was trying to get her. And she was like, I don't give a fuck about her being pregnant. Like, she came at me. Like, she should have came at... If she came at me, she should have been ready. Like, she just didn't... She was like, I don't give a fuck. Whew, it was a lot, y'all. It was a lot. Then we end up, uh, we see K. Michelle, A1. Um, he goes and um, confronts K. Michelle about, like, why, you know, why you come at my wife like that? That was unnecessary. And then he starts talking about how her album wasn't shit and her lyrics ain't shit and how she banned from the radio. And, you know, she that's why she really mad because his wife is more talented than her. And I was like... How we go from A to Z so quickly? Like, you went from here to there. Like, really quickly. So, of course, y'all know K. Michelle got the clap back. So, she come back at him. And that's when she brings up the whole Lyrica and Safari piece. You know, talking about, yeah, you know Lyrica was trying to sleep with Safari. And, you know, this, that, and the other. And, of course, a woman's was like, nah, that ain't true. My wife wouldn't do that. That ain't true. Da -da 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 -da. And I was like, you don't know what your wife would do, boo. And according to K. Michelle, she got the receipts. Uh, so we're going to see. So, you know, this is the first episode. They're introducing you to whoever's going to be there. And they're just setting up the storylines. It looks like I don't really see a lot of new characters. Because even though K. Michelle is new to Love and Hip Hop, I mean to Hollywood, she's not new to the Love and Hip Hop franchise. And certainly she's not new to reality TV like everybody knows who K. Michelle is. Who's going by Kimberly now? I guess she's letting K. Michelle go. But, you know, I'm still calling K. Michelle, I guess. Uh, and then Apple Apple Watts and Paris. Those are our new characters. Everybody else we already know. Even if they were like B characters before, they were around before. So it'll be interesting to see how this whole thing plays out. So that's your first episode. Y'all let me know what y'all think with this thing going in the comments. Like I said, a lot of... My, my biggest criticism is that so much of the storyline has already been leaked. And we already kind of know some of this stuff. Um, but we'll see. Peace. Yeah, let me know.